Hey everybody, this is Grace. And in this video, um, I've mentioned in the past Ginger. She has a, a rare health condition. And uh, she'd had trouble with the doctors where she had lived before. And um, there just basically weren't any good doctors in the county she lived in. And the closest, she actually had tried, um, she had tried uh, some in one particular area then she she went to big city tried those i think i got that backwards but before with ginger but basically she's tried the locust locust the low uh the closest location for the big city is from the north wait i'm gonna get this right in a minute from the north of the county is two hours so anyway it just wasn't working out for her and then she she's from the um this Victorson County and she got moved by some uh, elders and that's a long story in itself but she uh, you know the basically the elders of this county this county is it's kind of different in Victorson County Texas and people around there kind of know some do some don't care but it, it the, everything they do is within the law they kind of stretch it a little bit a little bit um, like the elders pretty much run the whole the whole county all the towns in it yeah and people it's been such a part of their culture it's been like that since it was first uh settled by some people from you know came in at uh, four eight families it was eight families and uh they settled it and it's pretty much stayed the same since then and there's somebody turned that street over there and turned onto this street and was in my lane coming like toward me seriously okay and did that until she had to pass me she's just she still passed me real close <laughs> i think she had a kid with her okay anyway real life happens in in a video usually in the middle but uh anyway th this so ginger you know she had this condition and she had such a tr trouble with it with finding you know good health care all around just it was always poor whether she went to the big city um you know the only place they're kind of secluded and once the elders you know heard about her and uh the the person who knew her the elder they they uh, basically said you know this is something that we need to pay more attention to okay there's been a lot of activity just since i started this video so i'm going to do it like this hopefully all of a sudden there won't be somebody there i'm serious there's been so much activity and i don't put you know i don't like to put anybody really in my videos whether it's kids or adults but uh i have a feeling one of one of them is going to be a kid coming up soon yeah but anyway um here it is now you tell me that was that was just so funny i pushed it all the way over there for that one chair and that that I don't I think it's an adult actually I can't tell I had to go right there in this whole place it was so funny yeah I can't tell I think it's an adult I don't know I don't know why she's wearing shorts and it's cold outside and then the other person is going there hopefully it's a safe situation anyway um so so Ginger, you know, went through this, and her, I think it was her friend's mother or something like that, was one of the elders, and they, they had her moved out of the, the town called the Outlaws. It's got a bad reputation. That's where she was living. Had her moved out and her to a safe place because she reported a bunch of bad activities with the uh, healthcare professionals that she saw out there. She reported them and uh, caused a big stink. And, but she just couldn't see how people, herself and others, being treated as bad, as poor as they were. And all the little kind of bad things going on around it. You know, and her condition, you know, she wasn't going to, you know, pass on right away or anything like that. But it was still, it caused her trouble in her daily life. You know, she was, it wasn't something that per, any, really people would notice by looking at her. It wasn't, you know, something terminal. Well, life is. But, uh, you know, so, but still she, she had to go through a lot and she needed good help and, you know, health care 
what she was getting was poor. And, you know, in the big city, she, she just walked away from that. She saw it was just a bunch of uh, people who were not doing their job. It was all about money. And that's how she saw it. And so when they moved her, they, they have, um, you know, they had set up, because it's early 2020, the, it's a very wealthy county. The, they set up different kinds of health care um, to be local because they were doing these rolling lockdowns and they figured they were going to be doing possibly for a year, who knew, two years. And um, so they opened up these, uh, you know, health care kind of like facilities, very wealthy county, remember. And um, in each little area that, you know, that they had really done the work, these were elders, they had, they had their people who knew how to do all that plus and plus and so on. So she had one of a facility near her that you know took care of her problems, um, specifically uh, problems within her, um, you know, within her health condition, what it all involved and everything. And they had one local; they made one local to her. But as it was, they found that there were other people in the county that had been diagnosed with the same and were not getting, you know, same or similar. And they were not getting the right health care. So these are people who would drive there. And they had um, some temporary housing too. And some could stay there. You know, temporary. Temporarily. So that they can have the best health care for their condition. Now there, there would be. They would be the ones that you have heard said. You know the most vulnerable. Need to stay home as much as possible. You know not go out. You know going back to 2020. I'm leaving out that word. But yeah, you know, those would be some of them. There were other different kinds, other people with other different conditions. And basically that's what the elders would do for those with these special conditions. They had uh, the opportunity to, you know, go and move in these temporary housing, which were good, they weren't bad. And, uh, you know, or they stay in their own place and they see their own doctor, you know, do it over the phone or, or see one of their doctors over the phone. Okay, you know, see them over, you know, like, uh, FaceTiming and, um, you know, or just vocal. But they, but they knew that the option was there during that time. Well, after saying all that, I want to get to the person that I, there's one person I want to get to that Ginger met, um, she met eventually. And it's another woman who has the same health care, um, and theirs is very rare, as ginger. It's they're rare, and uh, it's quite amazing that there was another person. That's Mona. Okay, and to find out, you know, how they when they when they finally could after, you know, basically at the, more closer to the mid to end of 2020. I mean 2021, when they met they met in the um, as passing in the doctor's office. You know, then it was you know they. They both went in because they were both felt safe enough to do so. And, uh, but, you know, they met as one was leaving, one was coming in, or, you know, something like this. And every once in a while, they would run into one another. And they, they developed a, uh, you know, because it was something they used. They, 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 anyway, <laughs> I'm going way too far on this part. But they, they did become, you know, somewhat friends. About, you know, because they had so many similar experiences in life in general. It was, some of it seemed quite amazing. But they, you know, but they could, they could both see, they were both very intelligent women. They could see that it was due to the, the health con conditions in only in part. But there is much more to that, too. Okay, I wasn't looking over there, so I guess they're, they're gone and it was funny because the, the girl went there and then a guy went there to that same spot I was videoing and I, when I was doing that whole video clip after that, um, when I moved it. I don't know where they went to. That's kind of weird. <laughs> I'll tell you, when I come down to the to the park to make the videos, which I do quite often, almost every day, and uh, generally, generally, something weird happens, seriously. Like the day that the, a guy, a man probably around my age or older maybe, and his two sons probably in their 40s or so, uh, the man came down and changed his clothes 
right, you know, just got out of his car and changed his clothes. Oh my goodness, had a sneezing fit. And anyway, um, okay, now I do see the girl and she's running away from the guy. All right, and then there's an, okay. <laughs> I think this story might be better than the one I'm telling. Oh my goodness. Okay, <clears throat> I don't know what all that was about. It might have been a girl, uh, maybe even a woman, because they weren't right close to me. But the second one had on a a cap with one of those, I don't know what you call them. It looks like hair sticking out of it. <laughs> it looked awful. But she had one of those, or he, I don't know, really. Okay, but basically the first one was being, apparently being mean to the, was running away from the one I thought was a guy. And was being mean and took, apparently they both came up with, on a, with skateboards and took the other one's skateboard and then finally threw it and ran. Okay. <laughs> like, yeah. Gosh, goodness. And I come out here, my voice goes all wonky. Really, do you hear it kind of go in and out? But that's nothing unusual. Anyway. Anyway. So. Ginger goes to this one place. They they find out other people have this or similar, and they weren't getting best um, care, so they go all start going to this one facility. Well, that's when she meet Ginger meets Mona. I don't think I said Mona's name, and they're about the same age, and they've had so many similar, you know, condi you know situations and the conditions, and they they have a lot to talk about, and uh, so they do they 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 talk about it. And, um, you know, get one of those phone numbers and, you know, whenever they, they call and, so, you know, talk about their conditions, their health or whatever. And the elders, uh, even for each facility, they have either a sociologist or a counselor that comes in once a week and does a group thing. And they, you know, they can, they know that other people are going to know their health care, their health condition, you know. And if they want to come, they can. If they don't, you know. They sign a waiver saying they can do this. They have a group session um, you know, for health, for the mental health care side. Now, the the, um, the sociologists, they basically take down information that might help the doctor. And they're aware of this. They're aware of, you know, the, um, you know, who it is, a counselor or a um, sociologist and what they do and all that, you know, the patients are. So they, they have a choice. Now, okay, I think I should just go ahead and wrap this up. I can't believe I've been so irritated. My throat as it is. And I want to come down here and get a few um, of these rough, rough draft recordings done before um, this is North Central Texas. And from what I just, I, right when I got up, drove up here, I had uh, two of those little warning things come on my cell phone. I had one yesterday. But it basically said that, it, I thought it was tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, not tomorrow morning, but tomorrow, the next morning. But anyway, we have these warnings out for tom starting tomorrow morning and into Friday morning. I thought it was going to be something else, but anyway. Uh, it it's basically said that we were going to have wind chills. That It said this before, yesterday or the day before, whenever I got it. It, the wind chills will be as much as negative 15. Okay, negative 15. I know in one video I messed up and I said that um, I said below zero when I meant below freezing. But this <laughs> it was on to something else though. But anyway, how many days we're going to have temperatures below uh, freezing? And that's going to be um, about five days at some point. In those five days, one day at least is going to be that, the, the, or two days, the, the whole days. This is Texas, in other words. Man, I don't know why I'm so irritated and even trying to breathe, trying to get it out. Oh, it feels messed up. But um, anyway, so tomorrow is going to be as early as 6 a.m. It is from tomorrow, 6 a.m. to the next day. They sent me two different warnings, so if I get it mixed up. I think it's to the next day till noon. I was wrong. I'm not sure. <laughs> At this point, I don't know. This is weird. 
oh yeah something got me you know made me feel like my, you know my throat bad when I came out here don't know what it was and whew. and then it just whew. but anyway so I'm gonna get them done before tomorrow and it's not looking any good right now yeah okay I'm wrapping it up